Welcome to June's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is generate parentheses. Given n pairs of parentheses, write a function to generate all combinations of well-formed parentheses. Well-formed parentheses are where the left parentheses is always enclosed by right parentheses in order. So we could have left, left, right, right, or we could have left, right, left, right, and those would all count. Now we're only given this one integer. Luckily our constraint is only from one to eight. So we can kind of intuit here that we'll probably write something recursive. Now, if you recall how we know that a parenthesis is well formed, we usually use a stack, to keep track of how many left parentheses we've had so far and pop them off with the right parentheses. Now we could certainly do brute force and find all combinations, or I'm sorry, permutations of the number of parentheses and see which ones are valid, but that's very inefficient. Why don't we just try to build up a well-formed parentheses by keeping track of how many left parentheses we've had so far, and whenever we add a right parenthesis, we'll, we'll decrease that number. We don't even, even need a stack, we just need some sort of variable to keep track of how many left parentheses we've had so far. So let's do that. Let's first initialize our output to be a list, and we're going to write a function, uh, call it recursive. And I need to pass in four things here. I have to pass in the number of left parentheses we have left, the number of right parentheses we have left, uh, our stack, which basically just keeps track of how many left parentheses we've added so far, as well as the candidate string that we're building up. So to end our recursion, we know that if left equals right equals zero, then we're going to add to our output the candidate. Now, generally, uh, we could have two choices here, right? Assuming that we have left and right parentheses, we could either add a left one or we can add a right one. So very first thing, we'll say if left is greater than zero, let's recursively call, let's see, left minus one, right? And then to the stack, we're going to add one. And to our candidate, we'll just add the left parentheses. Now on the right side, if we say, all right, we also can add a right one. So if right is greater than zero, but we have to make sure that we have enough left parentheses to match these right parentheses. All right. So we have to say, make sure that our stack is also greater than zero because it doesn't make sense to add a right one if, if there's no left parentheses added so far. So we can do that and we'll say here, right minus one and stack minus one and add to our candidate uh, enclosed parentheses. And I forgot we need to make a return here to end our recursion. And that should be it. So let's call our function. We'll say uh, call n number of left parentheses and number of right parentheses. Our stack will start at zero and we'll first input an empty string and finally just return our output. So let's make sure this works. Okay, does that look like it's working? Yes, it looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, that's accepted. Um, now time complexity wise, I would have thought it's two to the nth power, but apparently it's four to the nth power divided by the square root of two to the nth power. Now I really don't understand why that is, but um, but there it is. Now I, I looked at some of the solutions that they that they give you. None of them actually looked like mine, which surprised me. Um, but frankly, this seems fast enough, and I don't really see a reason to overcomplicate this question. So I'm just gonna keep it with this. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.